Hi Fabiola. Hi Elsie. Hi teacher. How are you? Hi teacher. Bye. Hi. Bye -bye. Elsie, are you cold? Hi. It's very cold. Me too. <laughs> ah, Fabiola, you have a cat. See, we got that. Oh my goodness. What is the name of your cat, Fabi? Nina. Nina. Oh, very nice. Nina. <laughs> Only one cat, eh, Fabi, or you have many cats? Too many cats. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Edgar, ¿qué me le pasó ayer, Edgar? Ya lo vi, no se esconda. Muy bien, muy bien, teacher. Sorry, sí. That's okay. Y es que eh, lo que sucede es que tuve una, una emergencia el día de, de ayer, fíjense, ahí con, con, con mi hijo mayor, entonces ah. eh, ya, no, ya, ya no me pude incorporar a, 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 a la clase. clase. Sí, sí, All pero right, aquí estoy ya de nuevo. Qué bueno, sí, de repente dije, ay no, ¿qué le pasó a Edgar? <risa> sí, sí, pero Very good, Edgar. Estoy. Very nice. Así que aquí estamos siempre con, 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 con feeling. Excelente, Edgar. Very nice, yes. Y, y el cita anda así bien matching todo, ¿verdad? The earphones, ah, sí. the scarf, the sweater. Casuality. Yeah, ok. Very nice. ¿Qué tal en el día de trabajo ahora? ¿Todo bien? Very nice. All right, very good. ¿Ya le pasó el efecto, Elsie, de la sopa? Sí, gracias a Dios. No, no era sopa, teacher, era en el guay. Ah, no le creo. Yo pensé que era sopa, él ¿eh? sí. No. Oh, my bien, God. bien platillo típico en el guay. Ah, sí. Ah, pues era más directo el cita. Sí, esa dosis fue directa. Sí, all right, very good. Hi, Mariela, good evening. Hi, teacher. How are hey. you today, Mariela? Um, fine. Okay. Are you tired like yesterday or a little bit less tired? Uh, very tired. Okay. I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm, ¿Cómo se dice? Estaba? Was? Yeah, I was. I was sleeping. <laughs> oh, no, Mariela. Okay. <laughs> Did you rest a little bit, Mariela? Yes, two okay. hours. Oh my goodness, good for you. <laughs> That's Thank nice. you. Yeah, very good, all right, nice. Now, Elsie, uh, what time do you finish your workout? Uh, yes, teacher. Like what time do you finish? At five, at six, at seven, you, you work? What time do you finish? Ah, uh, at at 5 p.m. At 5, all right. Okay, all right. Very good. Um, a veces a las 6, o sea, no tengo hora. Yeah, especially because mm -hmm. you're in your house, Elsie, right? It's a Se little bit more difficult. Tiempo. Sí. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the, those are the disadvantages of home office, right? Some disadvantages, right? That you continue working after working hours. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, it's difficult. Very good. What about Edgar? What time do you finish work, Edgar? Um, teacher, teacher, sorry. Um, the the finish work um six six o'clock. Six o'clock. All right. But you go to the office, Edgar, or you work from your home. Um, go go to the office. Go to the office. All right. Very good. Okay. What about in your case, Fabi? What time do you finish work? At uh, four, four. At four? Cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Are you like working from home or you go to the office, Fabi? You go to the office. You go to the office. Uh, mm -hmm. Every day? Sí, siempre. Okay. And Saturday too or not Saturdays? No, sábado y domingo no. <laughs> very good. All right. Very nice. What about Mariela? Mariela, what time do you finish your work? I guess you didn't hear me. All right. <clears throat> very good. Hi, Candy. Hello, Candy. Hi, teacher. How are you today, Candy? 
<laughs> yes, teacher. I'm fine, you're fine. Good. <laughs> yes, Candy is always very happy. <laughs> She's always smiling. <laughs> very good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's the right attitude. All right. Okay. So, guys, um, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, yesterday's class. All right. Uh, and remember that I had a problem yesterday with the internet. So, we're going to. Um, we are going to have like 10 more minutes of classes to uh, reponer yesterday's 10 minutes, all right? So we're gonna do that after, all right? But I'm gonna remind you guys after that. Hi, Francisco, Javier, hi, Carla, hi, Juan Francisco, how are you? Good evening, teacher, good evening, right. everybody. Hi, thank you for being in class. Hi, Juan Francisco, you are in your job again? In the company. Good evening, teacher. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. You're working. Very good. Okay. Hi, Carlita. Hello, teacher. How are you today, Carla? I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> are you tired, Carla, or not tired? Um, just a little tired. <laughs> just a little bit. Oh, my goodness, Carla. I don't know how you do it. Carla, we were talking a little bit about what to do. You work. All right. So, what about in your case, Carla? What time Sorry. do you usually? That's okay. What time do you usually finish your work at? I usually finish work at uh, in different hours. For example, at five p.m. or seven p.m. Okay. Depend depends the day. Depends on the day. All right. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. And but what time do you usually begin? Depends on the day too. Yes. Okay. Depends on the day. All right. But in uh, until Monday, until Friday, for example, mm -hmm. I start. Uh, I start work at seven a.m. Wow. All right. And you finish at five. Yes. <gasps> it's a long day, Carla. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh no it, All this right. is the life in a restaurant <laughs> i know i know oh my goodness carlita i don't know how you do it all right <laughs> <laughs> how long have you worked at the restaurant for carla uh 12 years 12 years yes. <gasps> wow carla oh no okay well that means that you like it okay <laughs> yes i love it <laughs> very good all right very nice what about juan friends i mean no, no no what about francisco javier what time do you usually finish your work at i usually finish the work at um, five or sometimes at seven it's not a it's not an um como se dice una hora fija yeah it's not as like a stable the schedule or stable hour like stable every schedule. day yeah. oh. all right so it, it depends okay. also it depends uh, yeah all right now francisco do you work from home or do you go to the office uh, excuse me do you work from home like home office or do you um do you go do you work from home or do you go to the office um and numbers okay all right both then all right okay. Both. interesting both. very good okay very good all right guys so we're gonna i'm gonna take the first attendance of the night all right and then we're gonna go on check in what we stopped doing yesterday all right so we have andres giovanni valdivieso portillo andresito's not in today oh no okay then we have Soila Noemi Cordova de Valencia. Cecilia Yamileto Sorio Alfaro. Candelaria El Tránsito Martinez Cisneros. Present teacher. Thank you, Edgar Alfredo Mejibar Pineda. Present teacher. Carla Marta Cano Rivas. Here. Mayra Yasmin Rodriguez Garcia. Marvel Omar Ramirez Vázquez. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Present teacher. Elsie Janet de María Ramírez Navarro. Present teacher. Marcos Giovanni Morán Flores. 
Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel, Jennifer Magali Morales Guzmán, Carlos Jonathan García Alvarado, Jorge Antonio Hernández Cruz, Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales, Javier. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz. Present. Thank you. And Jose Saul Gonzalez Roque. All right, hopefully uh, the rest of your classmates will join us uh, as the class uh, advances. All right, very good, guys. So let's go on here. Yesterday, we were not able to check uh, the last exercise because I had an issue with the internet connection. Hopefully today we'll like have no problems with this. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen with you guys here. Uh, just let me do something. Just hold on guys. I'm just gonna... All right, very good. Let me just get this for you here. All right, so this is, guys, what we um, stopped on yesterday. You were supposed to come up with three companies, three, like, on their branches, all right, and the headquarters in the case you knew them. Remember that the idea was for you to come up with the name of a company, for example, I don't know, Burger King, for instance, or, I don't know, um, Banco Azul, or whatever the company that you wanted to mention, the company, right? Let's see, um, and see, what companies did you come up with with your classmates yesterday? Um, the company is Econopart. Okay. Uh, ten branches. Okay. And headquarter in San Salvador. Okay, very nice. Thank you, uh, Elsie. Very good. Do you have another example, Elsie? Uh, yes. Uh, the company Tigo. Okay. Uh, Thirty-four branches. Wow. And headquarter Luxembourg. Oh my goodness, all right, very good. Now, you know about Tigo or you make an estimation? Uh, Tigo. Yeah, I know, but how do, how do you know, like how many branches and how do you know about the headquarters, Elsie? How do you have that information? Uh, the branches uh -huh. in the in the country. Yeah, uh -huh. but how do you know how many uh -huh. branches? The branches in the country only El Salvador. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That, that's okay, that's okay, Elsie, that's fine. Very good. And not the other company, Elsie, that's okay. Uh, uh, only, only that. Okay, so only you had only two companies. Very good, all right. Fabiola, what about you? What companies did you come up with? Uh, com mm. This example is uh, my companies. Okay. Uh -huh. Distribuidora Salvadoreña. Okay. Uh, two branches in Santa Tecla in San Miguel. Mm -hmm. And headquarters in uh, uh, Guatemala. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Very good. All right. Do you have any other company or not, Fabiola? Repeat. Do you have another company or only one company? Only one. Okay, that's fine. Very good. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Francisco Javier, did you come up with uh, the companies, the branches, and the headquarters yesterday? Yeah. Um... In our case, uh, Banco Agricola. Okay, all right. Branches in El Salvador, uh, 100. Wow, okay. Uh, 100. Okay. 100. <laughs> and headquarters in Colombia. All right, very good. Did you have another company or only one? Avianca. Mm -hmm. 20, 20 several countries. 20 branches in several countries and headquarters in Colombia. Okay, very good. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Juan Francisco, what about in your. Yeah.
Juan Francisco, what about in your case? Did you come up with any uh, companies, branches, and headquarters? Juan Francisco, can you hear me? Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, sí, teacher, nosotros, eh, yo me equivoqué con, este, no pusimos otras marcas, solo nos eh, pregunté con Fabiola, con ella intercambiamos la empresa. Okay, okay, that's fine, very good. Uh, let's see, Carla, did you come up with anything else? Yes, uh, I work with uh, Candy. And, okay. And companies is in El Salvador. Uh, they are 2,074 branches and one headquarters in El Salvador. Okay. How many branches? Uh, to, 274. Oh, I thought you said 2,000. I'm like, really? All right, 200. 200, yes. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. And another company, AFP Confir. Okay. Seven branches. Okay. And one headquarters in El Salvador. All right. And Electrolab Medic. Yes three branches okay and one headquarters in san salvador El salvador all right very good mm -hmm. all right very nice um mariela did you have anything else or did you work already with some of your classmates that we had here i'm work uh, with elsie ah okay all right so they are the same companies as men as elsie mentioned yes all right very good guys okay uh let's see can you guys think of any other companies that you know that has a lot of branches and you know like you happen to know about the headquarters can you think of any other company right now what about the competition carlita uh, mcdonald's do you know how many branches they got <laughs> I don't know, maybe they have uh, 10 branches okay. in El Salvador. And okay. I don't know where is the headquarters for the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't either. I don't know. Yeah, you got me there. I really don't know. All right, very good, guys. So you see there are, <laughs> many, <laughs> there are many companies, there are many branches, and they're like, they have, each company has their own headquarters. All right, very good. I see Soila is connecting, Noemi is connecting, that's very nice. Oh, someone is writing on my board. Very good, guys. Let's go on here with page 20. Hi, Noemi, good evening. All right, very good. So here we have, guys, match the product or service to the corresponding industry type, check answers with a partner, okay? So for number one, banks is the finance industry. What about soft drinks for number two? What is the answer, guys? What letter is that? Letter H. Letter, letter H, very good, the, uh, the beverage industry, right? Soft drinks. Do you understand soft drinks? Do you know what they are? When we say soft drinks, do you understand what soft drinks are? Empresa de bebidas. Yeah, the average, I mean the beverage uh, industry, but soft drinks, yo digo soft drinks, a que tipo de bebidas me refiero? Sodas. Uh -huh. Yeah, very good, like soft drinks, non-alcoholic <laughs> drinks. All right, very good. All right, very good. So number three, we have guided tours. What is the industry, guys? The tourism industry. Tourism, yes, tourism industry. Very good, very good. What about number four, cardboard boxes? The packaging industry. 
Packaging industry, very good, thank you. All right, what about five buildings? The construction is the construction industry. industry. The construction industry, very good. So it's letter B, all right, very good. Mobile phones. The telecommunication uh, the telecommunication industry. industry. Excellent, the telecommunications industry, very good. Medicine. The pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical industry. industry. That's right, very good. Then we have car components. To which industry the does it belong? Industry. That's uh -huh. right. Very good. All right. Hair salon services. The beauty, the beauty and, and personal, personal care, industry. care industry. Very good. And number 10, clothes. The, the textile, textile industry. industry. Textile. Textile industry. All right. Very good. Textile. Now, okay. Very good. Yeah. Textile. So here we have, guys, just to go over the pronunciation, if you need me to pronounce it a little bit again for you, let me know. Banks. All right. No banks. It's banks, soft drinks, guided tours, cardboard boxes, buildings, no es building, verdad, es buildings, all right, del verbo build, or to build, buildings, mobile phones, it's not mobile, it's mobile, medicine, car components, hair salon services, and clothes, all right, All right, any any um, pronunciation you want me to go over here or you're okay? T-shirt. Yes. Armaceutical. All right, okay, we're gonna go over this one. Okay, ahorita vamos con esta. De esta no hay ninguna. Que quieran que repita, no, todo lo, lo pronunciamos bien. Acuérdese que es buildings, no es buildings, right? All right, very good. Let's go on with the other column here. We have the beauty and personal care industry construction industry, then we have textile industry, telecommunications industry, the finance, it's not finance, it's finance industry, automobile industry, packaging industry, beverage industry, tourism industry, and pharmaceutical industry, Fabiola, all right? So like out of pharmacy, all right? Pharmaceutical industry, okay? Do you have any questions about this pronunciation, um, guys? Or you are okay with everything? Teacher number four, cardboard boxes? Yes, cardboard boxes. Son cajas de cartón, um, mm. Edgar. Okay. Cardboard boxes, very good. Any other, guys? Any other from uh, the product or service or the type of industry or no, you're okay? Teacher, uh, yes. the beverage, beverage. Beverage, yes, industry. beverage, Bev uh, beverage, beverage industry, yes. Just uh, okay. remember that this is uh, like B and this is a V, all right? Beverage industry, all right? So that's like pretty much the difference between those two sounds, all right? Anything else, guys, from this one? No, we're okay. All right. So remember yesterday I asked you that you also had to come up with examples of the industry. All right. Like names of companies and stuff. All right. So from the, in, the beauty and personal care industry, tell me two um, companies, guys. Can you tell me two companies that belong to this industry? Vidal Salon. <laughs> Very good. And Amanda, well, my goodness, very picky, right? Very nice. All right, what about construction industry? Any ideas on construction industry? Salazar Romero. Okay, very good. Okay, very nice, yes. What about the textile industry? Any ideas on that one? Miraflam. Which one, Francisco Javier? Rate of love. Okay, all right. Any other? Text to field. Text to field. All right, okay. Yeah, all right, very nice. All right, what about telecommunication industry? Vigo, claro. <laughs> Many, the Hizel and all those, right? Very good. All right, then what about the finance industry? Um, 
Banco Azul, Banco Cuscatlán. Very good. All right. All those banks are financieras, all right, or like cooperativas. The automotive, uh, the automotive or automobile industry, guys, any um, on those ones, what can you think about? Like okay, sure. Another Star Motors. Okay. Star Motors. Very good. Yes, very good. Packaging industry. From the packaging industry, what do you think? Um, America Logistic. All right. Okay. Amazon. <laughs> All right, very good. What about the beverage industry, guys? La Constancia. La Constancia. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, Coca-Cola. Is it not the same as La Constancia? No. Um, Cristal. Cristal. What about La Cascada? Ah, La Cascada. All right, Cascada. very good. Okay, tourism industry. Turismo. Crown Plaza. Sure, a hotel. Very good. Uh huh. What else? Any other ideas? Oh no. Cameron. Pueblos vivos. Yeah. Yes. Pueblos vivos. The Cameron. All right. All the rutas uh, that we have. Very good. And the pharmaceutical industry. Vijos. Okay. Yeah, very good. Suizos and Lopez and all that. Very good. All right, guys. Thank you for that. Let's go on with number six. Uh, let's see. Um, Mariela, can you read the instruction for number six, please? Where it says write. Can you read this? Okay. Write a sentence to describe the ex expertise, expertise and the industrial classification of the business below. Share your sentences with a partner. All right, thank you. So here we have, for example, we say for number one, refresh and leave, all right? At refresh and leave, we distribute soft drinks. We are in the beverage industry. So what you need to do here, guys, you need to come up with sentences using the name of the company and like, um what you distribute or what you create and then to which industry you belong so that's why they give you a sentence here so you can follow it for example again i will read it it says at refresh and leave we distribute soft drinks so i need you to write the name of the company here all right what is your product and to which industry you belong all right so i want you to do these four Plus, I want you to think about three more. You can choose from here or you can choose or make your own sentences, like with real examples. Do you understand what you guys are gonna be working on right now? Guys, you understand what you're gonna be working on right now? Yes? Hi, Andres Giovanni. Hi, teacher. Vengo nice llegando, to have your class. Me conecté un poco tarde. Gracias. Yeah, yeah, but thank you for being in class, uh, Giovanni. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate thank that. You, okay, very good. Guys, do you understand what we're going to be working on right now? ¿Entendemos lo que vamos a hacer? Sí, no? So, so? Yeah, all right. So we're going to go to the groups. Acuérdese que es the name of the company, the product, and to which industry they belong to. You do this for last three more of your own. Pueden tomarlo de aquí o pueden tomarlo de otro lado. All right, like you think about your sentences, pero siempre. Eh, the name of the company, y si quieren vendes un nombre de una empresa o algo. All right, o si existe el tipo de producto y luego a qué industria este uh, compañía o negocio pertenece. Okay? So I'm going to stop sharing right now, guys, and I'm going to send you to your groups. Let's see, we have 10. Very good. Oops. All right, guys, let's go to the groups.
Hi, Mariela. Hi, teacher. All right, everybody's coming back right now. So let's see what happened. Did you? Eh, estaba con Candy y se metió al manual y, y la sacó. La sacó. <laughs> sí. All right, yeah, she's on the phone y le cuesta más así. Yes. Entonces, eh, se perdió ella. <laughs> sí, yeah, yeah, it happens to her. All right, guys, hold on, give me a second kiss. Okay. All right, very good. Let's see. So we have here uh, Elcita, Andres, Mariela, and we're waiting for the rest of your classmates to come back to um, the group here. All right, is everybody back? Yes, I think so. All right, guys, so let's see. Um, Edgar, tell us uh, your sentences. I'm gonna share this with you here. Um, I'm gonna share this with you here. At, Fix and care, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, at uh, Vidal Salon, we hire salon service. We are in the beauty, beauty and personal car industry. Oh, that's your own, that, that is your own sentence, Edgar. What? That is your own sentence? All sentence, sí. All right, yeah. Pero también hicieron estas, Edgar, las cuatro de estas que ya estaban aquí y luego hicieron las suyas, ¿o cómo? No, haciéndolas estábamos las, la, la tercera de Enjoy and Travel, ahí nos quedamos. Ah, Construyéndolas right. estábamos. Okay, all right, that's okay, very good. Uh, let's see, Juan Francisco, can you tell me about fix and care? Uh, I, I work with Edgar. With, you work with Edgar? Yes. All right, that's okay. Tell me another sentence then that you have. Only one? Sí, only one. Oh, okay. So you didn't, you were not able to do more. All right, that's okay. No. Uh, let me see. Francisco Javier, did you have another sentence like fix and care, enjoy and travel, business bank, or any of any other ones? Yeah. <clears throat> enjoy and travel. Let's enjoy and travel. We organize and prepare your travels. Oh. We're in the tourist industry. Excellent. Very nice. Very good. All right. Yeah. Do you, who did you work with, Francisco Javier? Um, Carla. All right, Carla, did you come up with another one like a uh, business bank or the Sun Resort or did you come up with your own? Okay, give me a second, please. Mm. Uh, business bank. At business bank, we advise your financial status we are in the financial industry all right very good thank you let's see um elsie did you come up who were you working with elsie with um andre javier okay with francisco um, javier no 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 con andres giovanni perdón ah. <laughs> <laughs> all right that's okay elsita all right Okay, um, fix and care, at fix and care, we made clothes. We are textile industry. Okay, textile. Textile industry, enjoy and travel, and enjoy and travel, we bring the fun. We are the touring industry. Very good. Business a bank, at business bank, we grow together. We are the financing industry. Wow. The Sun Resort, at the Sun Resort, we take you to the paradise of your dreams. We are the tourism industry. 
Wow, no sé, si de repente se hicieron de marketing. <laughs> very good, guys. Very nice. All right. Fabiola, who are you working with? Teacher, I don't remember her name. Uh, Noemi, Mariela, no? Noemi. Ah, no. Was Noemi. Yes. Okay. Yes. Pero no hicimos nada. <gasps> Why? And, Two, two questions, teacher. Oh, all right. Where to, to, to. Ajá, solo hicimos dos oraciones. Two sentences. Ah, two sentences. Ah, pero díganos las oraciones que hicieron. Uh, I'd find and take care of your hair. Uh -huh. We are the beauty and care industry. Okay. Right. To enjoy, to enjoy and travel, we are the tourist industry. Okay. It is the, the tree is the, we, we give you service in your pay, payments. Okay. The financing industry. Very good. All right. That That's okay. That's okay. Very good, guys. Nice. Yes. Excuse me. And the fix and care, um, what's the meaning? Fix and care, um, to me, is more like a textile because fix is arreglar. But it's textile. I think so. For me, yes. Como el que, el, hay uno que se llama fix and fit, de verdad? <laughs> Uh -huh, exactamente. Que arreglan eh, ropa y esas cosas, all right? So I think okay. it's similar to that one. So for me, it's textile industry, no? Es que ahí nos quedamos porque teníamos esa... Question. Ajá, <laughs> uh -huh, exacto. Right. Right. Okay. Yes, okay. Teacher. Yes. Fix solo es para arreglar ropa. No, pues mm. usted puede arreglar la computadora, un chorro, un... Porque yo puse uh, fix a card Puse, we take care of and fix your car sure. as if it we care, uh, excuse me, as if it were ours. Impresa oh. repuestos de automóvil. Wow, industry. no digo, pues Mariela, si hicieron yeah. marketing todos aquí. <laughs> wow, very nice, Mariela. ¿Con quién trabajó Mariela? Yo sola. <laughs> ah, sí, porque Candy se salió, right? Okay. Very good, Mariela. Sí. Super nice slogan, actually came up like a slogan. All right, okay, so now what I want you to do is the following. No nos vamos a ir a ningún grupo. Eh, piensa en su empresa, en la empresa donde usted labora, all right? Uh, por ejemplo, en el caso de, voy a mencionar a Carla porque es la que me, me recuerdo, obviamente, because I like Burger King um, hamburgers anyway, <laughs> by the way. Um, so, eh, Carlita says uh, Burger King, all right? Y, Obviamente, she's going to tell us about the product and to which industry they belong. All right, like food industry in your case, Carla. All right. So think about your company. Tell me the name of your company. All right. Tell me the product or service that you do or you give and to which industry you belong to. Can we do that? All right. Háganlo ahorita. Y aquí nos vamos a quedar aquí. Piense donde usted labora, el nom the name, the service or product and the industry that you belong to. Cuando vayan terminando, me levanten la manita o me dicen, teacher, finish, y me van comentando ahí que, que um, your sentence, ¿ok? Ok.
All right, are you guys finished? Yeah. 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 All right, very good. Yeah. All right, Juan Francisco, tell us about your company. Uh, Energia Borealis. We make energy power for kids like your home. We are power generation plant. All right. Okay. So from the like the industry, very good. Okay. Nice. Interesting. Let's see, Francisco Javier, tell us about your company. IT solution, and we provide software and system information industry. Okay. We are in the software and information industry. Right. Okay. Very nice. Let's see, Noemi, what do you have for your company? No, your microphone, Noemi. Thank you. That's okay. Uh, at Football Association, we are we play soccer. Yeah. Uh, we are in entertainment in the industry. Very good, Noemi. Yes, you guys are very good. Nice. All right. Let's see. Uh, Fabiola, can you tell us your um? Your sentence about your company. 
Uh, we distribute liquors. Okay. We sell the product in different places. Place. Okay. In different places, okay. Places. We are in the beverage industry. Very good. All right. Nice. All right. Very good. Giovanni, what about your um, uh, sentence? Eh, solo que al final no, no supe que como no era una industria. Ah, uh -huh, you're not an industry. That's okay. Uh -huh. Let's see what you have. Eh, puse a uh, alcaldías municipales instaladas. We work for you with efficiency and efficacy to give right. you the best. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah, you guys are not an industry. Okay, that's okay. Very good. Let's see. Um, eh, Mariela, tell us about your sentence. Um, Mr. we are a company committed to our clients. We offer telecommunication services, electricity services, architecture and civil work services. Your best option in engineering. Oh my goodness. All right, very good. All right, nice, thank you. Let's see, um, Edgar. Hello. Hi, um, Avicola Salvadoreña. We are a company that sell poultry products and we distribute chickens and sauce, sauce, sauces in sausages. El Salvador. All right, okay, all right. So you belong to the food industry? Yeah. All industry. right, nice. Food very industry. Good. Yeah, food industry, very good. And uh, Elsie, we're going to leave Carla at the end. <laughs> all right, Elsie. Uh, ETS Consulting, we take care of your company. Your business is our commitment. We are the network security industry. All right, very good, Elsie. Nice, very good. All right, Carlita, huh, Carla, tell us about your company. Okay, at Burger King, we serve hamburgers, drinks, and desserts. We are in the fast food restaurant industry. Very good. All right. Yes. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> that was very nice, guys. All right. So uh, as we notice, some of us do belong to industries. In the case of Giovanni, it's not really an industry because they don't really sell something like a product or something, but it's because it's an alcaldia, right? It's a city hall. All right. Very good, guys. So I'm going to take attendance right now. So we move on here. All right, so let's see. Andres Giovanni Valdivia Soportillo. Present teacher. Soy la Noemi Córdoba de Valencia. Present. Thank you. Cecilia Yamilet Osorio Alfaro. Candelaria El Tránsito Martínez Cisneros. Se nos salió Candy, ya no la recuperamos. Espero que logre entrar. Edgar Alfredo Mejibar Pineda. Present teacher. Carla Marta Cano Rivas. Here. Mayra Yasmin Rodriguez Garcia. All right. Uh, Marvel Omar Ramirez Vasquez. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Enriquez Gonzalez. Present teacher. Elsie Yanet de María Ramirez Navarro. Present teacher. Marcos Giovanni Morán Flores. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Jennifer Magali Morales Guzmán. Carlos Jonathan García Alvarado. Jorge Antonio Hernández Cruz. Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. Present. Thank you. María Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz. Present teacher. And José Saúl González Roque. All right, guys, let's go back. Oh, sorry. Let's go back um, here to your uh, book here. All right. Let's see, we're gonna go uh, to page 21, all right? I will be able to introduce personnel providing information about their position. Ya esta palabra ya la vimos anteriormente, personnel, all right? So introduce staff, all right? Or people that work for you or employees providing information about their position. Number one, it says, do you usually receive business guests in your workplace? Do, we, do you enjoy welcoming guests? And why? Do you understand what guest means? Business guest. Do you know that meaning? 
eh, como industria, no, como negocio de, de huésped. Mm, kind of, but not really, Giovanni. Any other ideas, guys? Any ideas when we say about business guests? What comes to your mind when we talk about business guests? Mm. So remember the guests are like invitados, all right? Or gente que llega y visit visitantes, so gente que nos visita. All right, so when you have, for example, in some companies you have business guests, all right? Que son visitantes o um, invitados del, uh, para el negocio, right? Como, no sé, gente que va a patrocinar algo, gente que quiere ver, invertir en su negocio, gente que quiere ser parte del negocio. So that's what you, uh, when we say business guests, all right? And then do you, en do you enjoy welcoming guests? A veces cuando llegan a visitar las empresas, la gente también se pone así como a little bit nervous, ¿verdad? Porque everything has to be perfect for the company, all right? So the guests are like satisfied and happy with what they see in the office. So sometimes you have people like guests from like international, like guests coming into your company from other countries to check. A veces estos eh, visitantes o estos invitados son eh, los managers, top managers, CEOs, or like, I don't know, supervisors, gente que usted casi nunca vi, ve, pero de repente llegan y visitan las headquarters o las branches, and sometimes people get very nervous, all right, to that company. Does it happen to your company, Elsie? De repente llega eh, así como like the top heads of your company to your um, business, Elsie? Sometimes, no? Not really? No. Okay. No, really. All right. Very good. Good. All right. What about in any of your companies, guys? Do you have like very important guests in your companies or never? Yes, no? Yes. All right. Like, like can you give me an example of who can come and visit your company? Um, my company visit guests um, personnel of Tigo and personnel of Huawei. Oh, all right. Okay. And they, they are like not from the country, Mariela? They come from a different country or yeah, they come from like like here from El Salvador? In, in Tigo is in the country okay. and, and Huawei uh, are Chinese. Chinese, all right, okay. Yes. Now, when you get the visit from them, Mariela, do people get nervous or do you feel like a stress in the office or not really? Um, not really, only, um, they only speak English. All right. And it's, it's very difficult. Yeah. All right, very good, all right. Do you have to speak to them sometimes, Mariela? Uh, sometimes, but uh, we, they, mm -hmm. perdón, they uh, speak English, um, no se le entiende mucho, <laughs> lo pronuncian mal. Yeah. yeah, it's because of their accent, Mariela. Yes. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult to understand. All right, very good, all yes. right. Okay, very nice. What about Edgar? In your company, Edgar, do you get visitors from like any other place or like supervisors from like Ministerio de Salud or something or not, Edgar? The visit, the, the visit uh, um, the, the Ministerio de, de, de Salud, mm -hmm. um, for example, um, como, como se diría, uh, permiso de funcionamiento de, yeah, de, la, de la de la de, de la planta eso sí okay. tenemos eh, hacemos otros trámites sí okay. son so del like ministerio de salud sometimes too uh, por por ejemplo del ministerio de trabajo también okay. tenemos visitas auditorías por eh, por validar las planillas por, okay. porque es un volumen considerable de de personas que tenemos right. en planta. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
right? Now, when the Ministerio de Salud or the, the Trabajo comes to the office, when, do, when they come, do people get nervous or anxious, Edgar, or not? Everybody's relaxed. Everybody relaxed. All right, nice, very good, all right? One more company, guys. What about in your company? Anybody like, I don't know, Andres, Carlas, Noemi, Francisco Javier, or Juan Francisco, or Fabi? Do you get visitors from any other like places or supervisors or like the top manager, the owner of the company, or not really? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, Sometime. Uh, this is este brands o liquor como gerente de marca ah all right como gerente de marca de liquor uh -huh. este um, this is from de Nicaragua okay en Guatemala okay and when you receive the visit Fabiola everybody is okay or they get nervous they get anxious or everything is okay? Uh, everything is okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> very nice. All right, guys. Very good. Thank you for sharing that information. Very good. Let's go on to number two. Listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Miss State arrive, uh, arrives to a restaurant. She will train the personnel. Mr. Jong, the owner, welcomes her. All right. So here we have two people. We have Tate and Young, all right? So the first one says, hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager. And this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Uh, nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? And then it says again, nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen stuff. Great. Ah, Mr. Young, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases, like compras, all right? So that's like they're talking about, you know, introducing, por eso decía aquí, introduce personnel providing information about their position. No solo estamos presentando información o, pro, uh, o dando información sobre el, uh, el personal, sino que también hablamos sobre y damos información sobre su position at work, all right? So here, that's why they say, uh, she's Nisa, she's in charge of purchases, all right? So they give information about her position, okay? So that's pretty much what you do here. A ver, uh, let's talk about Tate and Young uh, and Leo, all right? I need three people to read, please. Can you guys read the conversation? Me. Thank you. And I need more. I need to. Me. Oh, thank you. Me. All right, Giovanni. Very good. And Elsie, thank you. ¿Quién empieza? I think it was Javier. I'm in stage. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello. Good morning. Are you Miss Young? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Trace. I'm Miss State. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss State. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Giovanni, you can be Leo too. Okay. Nice to meet you. I'm <laughs> in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Miss John. What does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right. Three more teacher, people. Teacher, teacher, yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, nice meeting you. Yeah. What a minute. The same thing as nice to meet you. 
Okay. You can say nice to meet you or nice meeting you. You can say both. Usually we we um we use nice to meet you more than nice meeting you. But you can say both. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Thank you, um, Javier. Very good. Three more students to read one more of the conversation. Three different students. Me. Okay. Thank you. Me. Okay. Me. Me, me, me. <laughs> All right. The first me <laughs> is Miss State, <laughs> Mr. Young, and then we have Mario and Leo is the same person. All right. All right. I'm Mr. Tate. Sure, Miss Tate, yes. Miss Tate, okay. I'm yeah, Mr. Young. Okay. And Mario and Leo? Uh, I don't know. Uh, to be Mario and Leo. Edgar, do you want to be Mario uh, and Leo? Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh -huh. All right, I'm start. Okay. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I'm mistake. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Mistake, let me introduce the staff. This, this is Mario. He's the branch manager and this is Leo. Uh, Mario, okay, Mario, uh, welcome. <laughs> nice to meet, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the gear over there do? She's not. She's Nisa. She's in charge of Porsches. That was Mr. Young. All right, that's okay. <laughs> that's fine, that's okay. All right. Yes, I am. All right, that's fine. Okay, thank you guys, very good. So here we have again, good morning. Are you Mr. Hey. Young? Yes, I am. I'm the trainer, you understand trainer? Entendemos lo que es un trainer, yes, no problem. Entrenamiento, no. Entrenador. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. That uh, viene uh, or oh, you stay training, right? El entrenamiento is training. All right. So hello, nice to meet you, Miss State. Let me introduce the staff. All right. Acuérdese que en when um, usted va a presentar a su staff o a alguien, usted dice uh, let me introduce. All right. Presentar. That's the correct translation to that. This is Mario. He's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. En este caso, ellos ca cambiaron acá en el libro, en el manual, uno, nice meeting you, y el otro, nice to meet you. Pero al final, los dos, como le explicaba Francisco Javier, es lo mismo, all right? Nice to meet And what do you do, all right? What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen stuff, all right? Ah, great. Ah, Mr. Young, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa, she's in charge of purchases, all right? Entonces, here, they're not only saying the position, but they're also explaining what they do, all right? So, for example, you say, I'm a teacher and I teach English every night, all right? Or you say, I'm an engineer and I help make the blueprints of a company, all right? So, if that's your position and that's what you do, all right? So, the example is, what do you do? All right, and then you say, oh, I am whatever, a teacher, all right? And then you can say both, all right? Cuando usted le preguntan, what do you do? Usted puede ser, I'm going to put my example. What do you do? I'm a teacher. I teach English every day. Entonces, usted continúa, ¿verdad? No solo dice, I'm a teacher. O puede ser que yo le diga, what do you do exactly? All right, oh, I teach, I plan, I check, I grade, or whatever. And then you go, like, uh, giving more information about what you really do here, all right? Preguntas about the conversation, guys, or no? We're okay. No questions? Do we understand it? All right, very good. Here, guys, this is very important. 
All right, it says use personnel with plural verbs, all right? Per, uh, all personnel are trained to provide first aid. Acá como a de, es como un conjunto, ¿verdad? Vamos desde dos personas a mil personas en su empresa, all right, or the staff. No va, no va a decir all personnel is. You say all personnel are trained to provide first aid. Es, um, es un plural, all right? So you need are. The personnel at the plant are certified, all right? Use the staff, use the staff followed by a singular or a plural verb. Diferente es, acuérdense que personnel es lo mismo significado que staff, all right? So the staff works 40 hours um, a week, all right? Our kitchen staff follows the mystery of health regulations. Here, according to this, Podría ser singular y puede ser plural, mientras que personnel is always going to be plural, all right? Vamos a hacer esto ahorita aquí. Nos vamos, no nos vamos a ir todavía al grupo otro ratito ya nos vamos a ir. Este ejercicio number three, complete the questions, then write the answers, all right? These questions are based on the conversation. So make, complete the questions here and then you do the answers. Number one, number two, number three, and then we can check, okay? When, when you guys finish, please let me know.
All right, guys, finished? Or not yet? All right, let's see, Carla, what do you have for number one? <clears throat> uh, the first, what does Mario do? Mm -hmm. He is the branch manager. I'm reading it, hold on. Right, he's the brand manager, you're right, very good. Number two, uh, Giovanni, what do you have for number two? Uh, what do you do, Leo? Mm -hmm. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Excellent, very good. And number three, guys, let's see, Mariela, what do you have for number three? Mm. What is Nisa doing in the restaurant? All right, Nisa okay. Is in third. Yes? Sorry, tell me again, I couldn't hear you. All right, can you tell me again for number three, the answer? What is, um, what is Nisa doing in the restaurant? Nisa is in charge of purchases. All right, so you changed it to that one. Okay, that could be, or what does Nisa do? All right, she is in charge of purchases. So both are okay, very good, okay. We're gonna go on here, guys, talking about this. How to use information questions, simple present. Remember that when we say about information questions, we don't only use them for the simple present. We can use them for simple past, future, the perfect tenses or whatever, but here they are reminding you about simple present, okay? Now, when we talk about information questions, guys, what are the uh, WH question words that we have? Do you remember? What are the, the WH questions that we have? We have like seven. Can you tell me one? Why? 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 Another one? When? Why? Uh huh. Another one. Who? Why? Who? Yes. When? What else? Why? Which one? Why? Which also? Which? which? Very good. All right. So we have why, where, when, who, what, which. All right, so we have those are the WH question words. When we want to ask information questions, remember that in English we have two types of questions. Yes, no questions and information questions. When we say yes, no question is when I say, do you like soccer? Yes, I do or no, I don't. That is why it's called yes, no question. If we have information questions, then we have the WH words like what, where, when, why, how, who, which, all right, and many more. So I, if I say, for example, um, Elsie, do you like coffee? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, all right. What kind of coffee do you like? Or what kind of coffee do you drink, Elsie? Um. I don't understand, teacher. What kind of coffee? What type of coffee? You like espresso? You like, I don't know. Ah, latte. Like? Ah, latte. I like latte. 
Coffee, very good. All right, nice. Okay, so remember, I can ask you yes or no questions or I can ask you for information questions because I want to know more. All right, so you're going to preguntado a él si what kind of coffee do you like? Y él se me hubiera dicho, yes, I do. Pues la pregunta no pega con la respuesta. All right, o mi pregunta está mala o su respuesta no está correcta porque no me está dando la información que estoy solicitando. All right, or I say, for example, how many, acuérdense que las, las WH questions, las bases que siempre vemos son siete, sí, sí. pero de ahí se deriva how much, how many, how far, how long, whom, whose, y vienen otras más, all right? Le puedo también hacer la pregunta, Elsie, how many cups of coffee do you drink every day? All right, y Elsie también me diría, ¿cuántas, Elsie? I, I take one a coffee cup. Okay, only one, one cup of coffee a day? Yes. Okay, very good. Yes, I do. Okay, very good. So she gives me more information about her coffee and how many cups she drinks and the type of coffee she drinks, okay? So remember that we have these information questions, okay? So I'm gonna go back here. It says, look at the words in bold and complete the statements in the box. All right. So we have number one. Elsie, can you read number one? Solo lea la primera. What do you do? What do you do? Very good. Edgar, number two. What department do you supervise? Excellent. Juan Francisco, number three. What branch does it manage? Does she manage? Very good. Number four, let me see here. Andres Giovanni, can you do number four? Number four, where does your company manufacture? Okay, very good. Mariela, can you do number five? What do you need to do oversee? Very good, nice. And Francisco Javier, can you read number six? Who do you report to? Who do you report to? Very good. So here, guys, if you notice where what you see- What are many never see? Like, uh, yeah, like which unit do you check or do you supervise kind of thing? Oversee? Yeah, like checking. Okay. Or supervising, it's a similar meaning, all right? Very good. So here, guys, if you notice, we use do because I'm asking you, for example, or we use does because we're asking about her. She. Now, this is a WH question word, what, where, and who, for example. And then you have what branch does, all right? You don't forget this. And manage, ya no le pasa nada manage porque tenemos el auxiliar acá. All right, so those are, these are the rules that you cannot forget when you make um, information questions, okay? Now, let's see. Now, uh, Noemi, can you read this part here, please, to ask? Noemi? Mm -hmm. To ask information. Todo? Question. Yes, lo, la, la, el recuadrito azul. To ask information information question in the simple present tense begin with a wh phrase or word or subject con que empezamos que vamos a escoger wh phrase or word o empezamos con el sujeto cuando hablamos de information questions Right, with a WH phrase or word, ¿verdad? Si se fija aquí tenemos what, what, where, who. All right. Followed by what? Do or does or the subject? Do or does. That's right. What do or what does, depending. All right. Plus the verb or the subject. The subject. The subject. Very good. Finally, add the what? The base form of the verb or S or ES form? Base form. The base form. Very good. 
of the verb and any other phrase, ¿ok? Entonces, acuérdense que esto que está aquí es como la estructura de lo que estamos viendo acá. Uh, we say where, WH. En este caso es does, because you're talking about su empresa, no aún sobre usted. So, la compañía es una. Where does your company, your company will be the subject here. And then manufacture would be the verb. Y si se fija al verbo, no le pasa nada. Regresa a su forma base. All right. No, S or ES is needed because you have the auxiliary does. Okay. Yes, you guys understand that? All right. Very good. So here, guys, this is what we're going to do right now. We're going to go back here. We're going to go back to this similar to this conversation. Vamos a hacer una conversación similar a esta. Y luego vamos a resolver esto que está acá. I'm going to give you like about, I don't know. Trate de terminar la conversación. Le vamos a dar unos 12 minutos, 10 minutos para hacerla. Similar a esta, pero no igual. Y vamos a hacer, uh, creo que nos alcanzan los grupos para hacer de tres, los grupos. All right. Eh, preséntense y por ejemplo si eh, Elcita y Carla están trabajando con Mariela es como hi nice to meet you whatever right and this is Mariela this is Carla so what do you do empecemos a usar la pregunta what do you do por ejemplo Carla le pregunta a Mariela uh, so Mariela where do you work y Mariela le dice dónde y dice so what do you do and Mariela le dice oh I am y le explica y le explica qué es Y podría seguir Mariela diciéndole, por decir algo, I'm a receptionist, I, I help people with um, customer services. All right? Entonces, inmediatamente después de que usted da la, su uh, puesto de trabajo, explica un poco qué hace en esa empresa. All right? Y luego así de, oh, what about um, Elsie? Podría ser que le pregunte, ¿usted conoce a Elsie? Do you know Elsie? La otra persona le dice, yes, I do. She is the uh, manager. Ah, what does she do? Uh, uh, ya se refiere a Elsie. What do you do, Elsie? Uh, yeah, ella dice, ah, I manage the branch of San Salvador, for example. All right? So the idea is to be introducing, es como que pre presentar su staff, all right? Haciendo la pregunta, what do you do? Y comentando no solo en su puesto de trabajo, sino en lo que usted hace en su puesto de trabajo. All right? And then I'm going to give you like about 10 minutes to do this. Trate de terminarla y luego vamos a regresar y vamos a ver las um, conversations y luego vamos a hacer esto acá. All right. Voy a rehacer los grupos acá para que podamos tener más personas. All right. So there are three people in each group. So we have Fabiola, Francisco, and Mariela, Andres, Juan Francisco, and Carla, and Edgar with Elsie and Noemi. Okay? There you go, guys. Try to finish your conversation, okay?
Hi, Mariela. Hi, teacher. Were you able to finish, Mariela? Yes. All right, very good. So it was Francisco, Javier, Maria, you and Fabiola together, right? All right. Okay, very good. And then we had Andres, Juan Francisco, and Carla, and Edgar, Elsie, and Noemi. Very good. So we're just going to wait for them to come up or come back to this group. All right, guys, very good. Elsita finished, Elsie? Yes. Excellent, very good. All right, so we have Mariela, Francisco, Javier, and Fabiola. You were working together, right? Right. right. All right, very good. So, guys, let's see. Um, can you, like, read the conversation, please? Yeah. Yes. So Mariela, Fabiola, and Francisco, Javier, and then the other Start, two groups. Javier. Okay, so Javier starts. Okay, Javier. Okay. Hi, I'm Javier Villatoro, I'm a software developer. And? <laughs> Fabiola. Fabiola. Fabi. Eh, la conversación la tienen en texto. En chat. Ahorita. Sí, ahorita, 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 ahorita. Eh. Hello, I'm Fabiola. Alex Comito. Nice to meet you, Javier and Fabiola. I'm Mariela. I'm... And I work in self -roughing. I'm receptionist and administrative assistant. What do you do, Javier? I'm coding web based and developer software for general purpose. So what about Fabiola? What she does in her company? I am a teacher of selling liquors. And finish. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Very nice. So let's see, I had Elsie, who was, you were working with Edgar and Noemi, right? Um, hello, good evening. Are you Elsie? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm Mr. Edgar. I'm the supervisor. Nice to meet you. Oh. Hello, nice to meet you, Edgar. Let me introduce the staff. This is Noemi. She is the finance, financial manager, and this is Mary. <laughs> Welcome, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you, Noemi. What do you do? I am a content. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ahora usted, Edgar. Okay, okay. Well, you're excellent. Oh, Mrs. Miss, uh, Miss Elsie, what does the boy over there do? He is Joseph. He is in charge of the human resource department. Okay. okay. Ah, very nice. All right, finished? Finished. Yes. Excellent, very good. All right, very good, Noemi and Elsie and Edgar. All right, let's see. So we have Andres Giovanni, we have Franz Juan Francisco, yeah. and we have Carla. Okay. Hello, good afternoon. Are you Juan? Yes, I am. I'm Carla. I'm the new human resources manager. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Carla. Let me show the workplace. This, this is Giovanni. He is chair of payroll.
Welcome. Nice to meet you, Carla. It's a pleasure. Nice meeting you, Giovanni. Thanks for the welcome. Okay, are you not All right, very good. Oh, well, very nice, guys. Very good. Okay, so remember that when someone asks you, what do you do? You can mention two things, not only the position in your job or at your workplace, but also what your activities, what are, like, what are you in charge of and the activities that you do at your job, all right? Not only I'm a manager, but what do I do? You know, I manage people, I supervise, I control quality. What do I do, right? Or I'm a receptionist. Yeah, but what do you do? So when they ask you, what do you do? You can have like two answers the position and then follow up with more information. All right, because they wanna know exactly what you do on that company, all right? Very good, let's continue guys here. Here we go, uh, let me see. So we finished this, all right, so we were here guys. Let's work on this. Hold on, just give me a second here. Let's work on this, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna send you to your groups here so you can finish it and then write the questions that correspond to the answers that follow. Use the verb in parentheses, all right? So you have manage, supervise, oversee, report to, manufacture, and do, all right? So I want you to work on this in your groups, and then when you finish, you have to come up with the question, not the answer. This is the answer, all right? The question, you need to do the question. I mean, sorry, you would need to do the question here on the blank space using this verb, all right? Remember, that you're using information questions, okay? So I'm gonna send you back again to your groups, but this time I'm gonna make, I'm gonna recreate the group so you have only two people working on each group. I think we're gonna have this, or maybe, let's try the board, all right, okay. So let's work on that, guys. Then we're going to come back and then we're going to check. And then I will have to do one more exercise and we're going to go like we're going to finish. There you go.
raiça olho. Raiça olho. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Saul. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, uh, pe uh, pedí permiso esta, al mediodía. No sé si lo leyó, teacher. Uh, WhatsApp. Sí, de hecho lo vi. Solo, sí, sí lo vi. All right, very good. De todas maneras, hoy vamos a reponer los 11 minutos que nos faltaron ayer, así que ya casi terminamos, Saúl, pero todavía vino a los 11 minutos últimos, oye. Excelente, excelente. Very good, thank you. All right, guys, very good. So let's check, um, let's check this exercise. All right, solo igual recordarles, hoy vamos a terminar a las 10 y 10 por los minutitos de ayer. All right, para que igual no le hagan falta a ustedes de las, los 120 minutos de las sesiones, pero ya casi terminamos de igual. All right, let's check this, this here, guys. Uh, number two, Giovanni, what do you have for number two? Number two, what department do you supervise? All right, what department do you supervise or which department do you supervise? Could be both, right? Which department do you supervise or what? I supervise the maintenance department. Very good, nice. Uh, Noemi, can you do number three? Claudio oversees the branch in Ilopango. Uh, what branch did Claudio oversee? Say it again, Noemi. What the what branch do Claudio overs? Do Claudio or does Claudio, Noemi? Does, perdón. Yes, very good. Does Claudio because it's only one Claudio, right? Does Claudio oversee? Very good. You don't see, do, you don't say overseas porque tenemos el does, verdad? Very good. Um, Carla, can you do number four? The assemblers report to the supervisor. Mm, who do the assemblers report? To? Okay, very good. Who do the assemblers report to? Or you can say, who do they report to? All right, and you can say the assemblers report to. All right, very nice. Uh, let's see, um, Elsie, can you do number five? No terminé, teacher. No terminamos todavía. <laughs> ah, okay, hagámoslo juntos, no se preocupe. We manufacture in the Santa Ana plant. Um, ¿Cómo cree que sería esa? Sería... Um, Cuerta. No, ahorita me siento bloqueada. No, 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 no se me ocurre. Ok, where, para empezar, si tenía, tiene razón la compañera where, ¿verdad? Where, ¿y luego? Where, where. Does or do? Where the department manufacture it? Do, sería do. Where do? Uh -huh. Where do? Where do? Y el subject, uh -huh. ¿cuál sería? Plant. Manufacture. Okay. Pero el sujeto Where necesitamos el sí. Where do? Where do? Mira la respuesta dice we. We manufacture in Santa Ana. So where to plant? Sorry? Where to plant? Pero el sujeto es el sí, ¿cuál sería? You. Yeah, you, very good. Where do you manufacture? All right, mm, para que la respuesta okay. sea we manufacture. Acuérdese que you puede ser singular o puede ser plural. En este caso va a ser plural eh, la traducción, digamos, porque en la respuesta dice we. All right, entonces, si estamos, por ejemplo, con Andrés Giovanni, y usted nos viene y nos pregunta, where do you manufacture? Y se refiere a nosotros dos, ¿verdad? Okay. Very good. Number six, Douglas trains the new staff. Um, Mariela, can you do that one, please? Um, who do you train? No, sorry. How do you train the new staff? How or who, Mariela? Who, perdón. 
who who to train the new staff okay all right okay so you can also say who trains the new staff all right so that would be okay, okay. and then you say douglas trains the new staff Rapidito aquí vamos a ver esto antes de tenemos tres minutitos y yo les prometo que los dejo ir. Yo sé que you are tired and it's late, but we need it to re, um, schedule this. All right, can you see this, guys? Can you see this um, right now? Yes. All right. Yes. Let's see. Oops, not that one. Let's see. Who? Cuando hablamos de who, it refers to what? Positions, reasons, specific things, people, belongings, choices, manners, or time. People. People, very good. When you talk about when, uh, Noemi, de todas estas, cuando hablamos de when, ¿a qué se refiere? A uh, place, position or place. When you talk about when? When. When, specific. Time. No. Yeah, time. Francisco, very good time, right? When. Like in an hour, in a week, in a month, in a year. When, right? Very good. Um, Carla, what about, what about where? Position. Ah, me equivoqué con where. Where? Mm, positions. And or okay. places positions or places yes you can say where is my cell phone on the table all right very good why francisco javier reason or explanation reasons or explanations very good all right alfredo what about i mean edgar alfredo what about what what uh what is Mm -hmm. Um, choice? No. Mm, what do you guys no. think? What is in no time? No. <laughs> what do you guys think? Specific, specific things, or things or objects. Or objects. Yes, very good. Uh, and how, guys? How, manner, situation. Yeah, manner. Way or form. Yes, manner, manner or, forms. or forms. Very good. Which? What about which? Belongings or possession? No. No. Choice. Choices. Specific. Uh, choice. Choices. Choices. Remember, if I say which, I don't know, hamburger choice. do you like? Burger King or McDonald's, Carla? <laughs> I'm hungry, Carlita. All right. And the last one. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the restaurant. What about whose? <laughs> Possessions. Yeah, whose is belongings or possessions? For example, I say, whose cell phone is this? And you say, oh, it's Jessica's cell phone, all right? Very good, guys. Yeah. I'm sorry, Carla. I promise I won't say that anymore. All right, guys, I'm going to take the last attendance so <laughs> we can go. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Soy la Noemi Córdoba de Valencia. Present. Cecilia Yamilet Osorio Alfaro. Candelaria El Tránsito Martínez Cisneros. Edgar Alfredo Mejibar Pineda. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carla Marta Cano Rivas. Present. Mayra Yasmin Rodríguez García. Marvel Omar Ramírez Vázquez. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher. El CNN de María Ramírez Navarro. Present teacher. Marcos Giovanni Morán Flores, Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel, Jennifer Magali Morales Guzmán, Carlos Jonathan García Alvarado, Jorge Antonio Hernández Cruz, Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. Present. Thank you. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz. Present. And we have, thank you, José Saúl González Roque. 
pleasant teacher. Excellent, Saul. Very good. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me today and staying with me until this time. I will see you tomorrow, all right, at eight o'clock. Have a good night and work on your tareas, please. Para que no se me queden. Carlita, ¿cómo va con eso? Finish, Carlita. Ahora, bueno, hace un, un ¿qué? una hora quizás terminé la tarea okay. uno, la de la primera semana. De la semana pasada. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces me tengo que poner al día con, con esta, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. O sea, con lunes y martes, ¿verdad? De esta. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. ah, pues, Pero sí, toda la sea. sección pasada ya la terminó. La uh -huh. sección yeah. uno. Excellent. Thank yeah. you, Carlita. Very good. Okay, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Thank Have a good you. night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now. See you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye -bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. tomorrow.